Good morning, fifth grade. This is Miss J. Today is Friday, May 15th. In order to be prepared for today's math lesson, you should have your math lesson out in front of you. You should have unit six notes open as well. And you should have scratch paper and a pencil. Awesome, now that you're prepared for math, we're ready to get started. For your problem solving task today, in lesson 6.12, we're going to continue matching expressions with word problems. Every day of the week, I run three miles. In a week, I run twice as much as Javante. How much does Javante run? Which expression matches how much Javante runs in a week? Pause the video here, and you're going to answer questions one and two. Do not skip to problem number three. You're just going to do one and two, then you're going to come back to the video so that we can discuss it. Welcome back. So at this point, you should have solved for number one and answered number two. So the first thing that we're going to have to do in our problem solving task is figure out how many miles do I run in a week? I know that every day of the week, I run three miles. How many days are there in a week? That's right, seven days. So if I'm running three miles every day of the week, how many miles am I running in total? That's right, 21 miles in one week. So we know that in order to figure that out, we're going to use multiplication. So in the expression that we choose, it should say three times seven somewhere in the expression. But if you notice, three out of the four expressions have three times seven in it. We also have to realize that before we can think about Javante, we have to solve for three times seven. So three times seven is a priority. So that means that it should be in parentheses. So which expressions can we eliminate here? That's right, we can eliminate A and we can eliminate C. So we're down to B and D. So now we figured out how much I run in a week. So I run twice as much as Javante. Another way of thinking about that is Javante runs half as much as me, right? Because we're figuring out how much does Javante run. What, it, what operation are we going to have to use to figure out how much Javante runs if he runs half as much as me? That's right, division. Which expression matches that? That's right, D. It's showing priority that we have to solve for how much I run in a week first. And then we're going to divide that by two to figure out how much Javante runs. Number two, like we just explained, we know that D is correct. In order to figure out how much Javante runs, we must figure out how much I run in a week first. Once we solve, then we will divide that by two 
to figure out how many miles Javante runs. Now you're going to solve your chosen expression. So pause the video here, and you're going to solve the expression in answer choice D. Welcome back. So at this point, you should have solved for our expression in problem number one. Remember that when we're solving for expressions, it is super, super important for our work to be organized and showing every single step. This is going to be very, very important and helpful as the problems get more and more complicated. So of course, we're going to start with our parentheses because our parentheses always show priority. So first we're gonna solve for three times seven, which we know equals 21. We're gonna divide that by two. 21 divided by two, that is 10 and a half. So you can see the progression of the expression I solved, and then my next line, I'm showing that I solved it and rewriting the expression again and then solving. So your work should be just as neat as this, handwritten, of course. Pause the video here. You're going to complete all of the practice problems. Once you've done that, head on back to the video so that we can go over it together. All right, welcome back everyone. Before we get started and go over our practice problems, remember that you can always go back to our unit six notes. We don't have any new notes for today, but you can review the notes from past lessons to refresh your memory. Number one, the bus makes 11 stops in Cambridge and 21 stops in Boston. If it makes this trip 32 times per day, how many stops does it make per day? So first we need to figure out how many stops in total does the one bus make? So the operation we're going to be using to figure that out is addition. The bus makes that exact same stop or stops 32 times per day. So what operation are we going to use in order to solve that? That's right, multiplication. So your expression should look like this. 11 plus 21 in parentheses, multiplied by 32. So we solve for what's in parentheses first because that's always the priority. We get 32, now we're gonna multiply that by 32. 32 times 32 is going to get us 1,024. So this information tells us that the bus makes 1,024 stops per day. Number two, Lisa sleeps for 4.6 hours and Emily sleeps for 9.2 hours. Rob sleeps for three hours, more than the difference between Lisa and Emily's amount of sleep. What operations are we going to be using to solve this word problem? That's right. Addition and subtraction. 
What are we finding the difference of? Right, we're finding the difference between Lisa and Emily's amount of sleep. So that means we're going to subtract 9.2 from 4.6. Once you figure that out, we know that Rob sleeps for more, for three hours more than that difference. So then we're going to have to add that on afterwards. So your expression should look like this. So we solved 9.2 minus 4.6 is 4.6 plus 3, and we get 7.6. So Rob sleeps for 7.6 hours. All right, that was our guided practice. Let's finish up our practice packet. We're going to write an expression and then solve. I am six times as old as Eva was last year. If Eva is 11 now, write an expression to represent my age. So we know that Eva is 11 now. But I'm six times as old as Eva was last year. So if Eva is 11 now, how old was she last year? That's right, 10. So we had to subtract a year to get her age. So now we know that Eva is 10. I am six times as old as that. So in our expression, we have 11 minus 1 times 6. Then we solved for our parentheses first, and we got 10 times 6, which equals 60. So that means that I am 60 years old. Number two, if Spot, the dog, eats five more treats, he's already had 13. He will have eaten twice as many as Marley. How many treats has Marley had? So Spot, he's already had 13, but he eats five more treats. We have to figure out how many treats he's eaten all together. So we first need to add that together. So in my expression, I showed that that addition was a priority first. So after we figure that out, we know that he would have eaten twice as many as Marley. But we need to figure out how many treats Marley has, right? Not how many the dog had for our second part of the expression. So we need to divide that by 2. So we have 13 plus 5, which equals 15. So we know that. So we know that 13 plus 5 is 18. Then we're going to divide 18 by 2, and we get 9. So Marley has had 9 treats. In two years, Emily will be twice as old as Allison, who is 30. How old is Emily?
So we know that in two years, Allison, who is 30, would be 32 years old. So we have to show that that's what we need to solve for first. So in those two years, Emily will be twice as old as Allison. So we must add 30 plus 2 first. We get 32. Then we multiply that by 2 and we get 64. So Emily is 64 years old. Today's secret code for our math lesson is SQUAT. S-Q-U-A-T. Again, our secret code for today's math lesson is SQUAT. S-Q-U-A-T. Number four. Again, we start with our parentheses. We're going to evaluate the following expressions. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. I know that multiplication is, is the power, more powerful operation. So I'm going to then multiply first 4 times 4, which gets me 16. And then 4 plus 16 equals 20. So I want you to take a look at the rest of the problems, making sure that you check your work. I have circled the, ans the correct answers in each problem. Awesome. So now that you've checked your work, you're going to head over to Google Classrooms to complete your math exit ticket. If you have any questions about this lesson, please reach out to your teachers as soon as possible so that they'll be able to help you so that you can be successful in your exit tickets. Have a great day, everyone.